Andrew McGahan for Severe MMA here standing alongside Vaughn Lee ahead of UFC Glasgow this weekend and Vaughn it's nice to see you back you've taken a little while off um, what have you been doing uh, apart from growing that ridiculously cool <laughs> beard and the hat choice was definitely inspired as well yeah man thank you um, I've just been chilling you know um, I got injured in my last fight uh, broke my orbital bone uh, had an eye operation so I've just been chilling recovering spending time with my daughter and family and that so, um, is your daughter's name Bo? No. <laughs> What's this on your head? Oh, that's Om. That's the Om symbol. Ah. Yeah. Um, no. Uh, just been chilling. Went to uh, Thailand. Been living naturally, you know. Just been taking it easy, and then I went to Thailand again for a fight camp, and yeah, it's been awesome. What's the difference in shift between taking it easy in Thailand and training in Thailand? Um, I've been in Brazil. I think it might be a similar thing. We were there the first week. We were taking it a little bit easier, training really hard the second. And mm. um, what were we doing? We were exploring the the rainforests, the jungles. Mm. Like I know a lot of people say Thailand is one of the most beautiful places. Yeah, man. Uh, there's lots to do in Thailand, especially Phuket. You know, uh, I've been you know chilling with the monkeys. Yeah. Um, I like to go to the beaches, relax, do runs on the beaches in my, in my downtime, go swimming. You know, um, enjoying the food. They got beautiful food there. Um, still training, but just yeah, not at a so relaxed much. pace. In terms, yeah. of, compared to the fight camp, then where were you training for this fight camp? I was training at Phuket Top Team. Um, it's a great place. Um, loads of fighters coming through all the time. Different fighters, you know. Uh, Ian Nt, Chris Fishgold, Diego Tavares was there. Uh, so you get a lot of a lot of good guys always coming through, you know. Ian was supposed to be on this card as well. Uh, were you training with him for the fight, and how much did it annoy him that he had to pull out? Yeah, man. Um, yeah. In in awesome guy, awesome awesome, awesome guy. You know, is um, crazy on his heel hooks. You know, drilled drilled a lot with him. Spent loads of time with him at his house and that. Um, kind of, yeah, it's a shame that he had to pull out from the fight. But uh, I, I was rooting for him as well. I think I thought he had that he had that fight. You know what I mean? Talk to me about yourself. A bit of a change since the last time we've seen you. You're going down to 125 for the first time. What prompted the decision? And I, I've spoke to a lot of uh, bantamweights before that have made their way down to flyweight and they underestimate the cut on the way down. How are you doing a couple of days removed? I feel great, you know. Uh, I'm lighter than I've, I've ever been yeah, already, so I, I feel good. Um, I don't feel depleted or anything. So, yeah... Um, did you feel maybe you could get down to it easily? You were too small at bantamweight. Because um, you hear the, the fighters that make it to featherweight say the difference is amazing. Mm. Having previously fought at bantamweight, once they get down to 125, they feel so strong, they feel much quicker. Um, and it's just an all-around better move. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that. Yeah, Because the guys are in the top 10 division, in the bantamweight division, they're just too big for me. You know, I'm yeah. too big, too strong. So, um, and them, them the only guys I've really had problems with. So, uh, making the trip down, hopefully I can hang with these guys and be the bigger and stronger guy, you know. Just one more thing on that. I find as well, when guys go down, they often cite that the power, uh, not so much the strength. I was close. But the power of the topper guys, um, for example, your last fight, KO power of Alicantara. Do you think that is the, that's the decision maker to get you down to 125? Um, not, just, not really the power, but just the sheer size of the guys, you know. Um, yeah, that's, that's it really, just this year's size. A little bit of an awkward situation between you and your opponent, Paddy Hulahan. I understand you were over in SVG Ireland uh, doing yeah. some training with, earlier on in the year. Was that just for a week of training or maybe with an, an option to maybe relocate your camp there? Yeah, I, I am kind of... I've always got options, you know. I always want to train everywhere and I want to train with the best. And John Cavanaugh is one of the best, you know. I, I trained with him years ago before... Um, before it was cool. Yeah, before it was, was cool to train with him, you know. But um, yeah, back when I first started MMA, when I was like 19 year old kid, um, I, used to, I used to train with him. So, um, well, I did train with him. But um, yeah, and now he's a stud, so everyone wants to train with him. But um, he's a very knowledgeable guy, he's very, very scientific with his approach, and um, I like that, you know. And I think he can improve my game a lot. Do you think it's just unfortunate with this matchup that win or lose uh, your future, you may spend a bit of time in SVG Ireland? Yeah, definitely. I uh, I spoke to him. It's win or lose. He says I'm I'm definitely allowed to come back and, and train. You know, so I, I hope that's still on the on the on the cards. And just finally about that, do you think John is going to get an influx of fighters looking to come over and do some training after Conor McGregor captured the interim belt at the weekend, or do you think maybe? 
like John gives off a little bit of a not so much intimidating presence but if you come to his gym you fight on his terms if you're a pro fighter looking to join his gym and you need money you're going to have to wait until John feels you're capable to represent SPG at that level do you think some fighters will be put off by that or they're just all going to want to know the man behind Conor McGregor um, a bit of both you know everyone's different you know so um depends what kind of attitude you've got I mean if you want to go see the see the guy you do what he says you know so but some guys are stubborn you know set in their ways so it de depends on the on the individual excellent Vaughn thank you very much best luck to Saturday see you soon thank you.